Nine, 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 nine. Physics for you, physics for you, physics for all you. Let's assess your practical skills. Now, today we're just going to talk about working scientifically again and some extra stuff that you're going to need to know about physics. Now, physics is not about everything. In fact, all you have to do to know physics is to be able to know some science and how the world works. And that's harder than you can think. The main goal of physics is to create an equation that explains the whole universe, of which is only on one page. And no, it, and it must make sense. Like, one plus one equals two. Like that. It must make sense. Or else it just would break down physics itself. Now, this video is mainly going to be about how you can how you can work scientifically, the Socratic slash scientific method, and how you can prepare for your exam. This is gonna be a very short episode too. Oh yeah, and we're also gonna name some famous inventions and names that will probably be on the test if some history is involved. Boo! All right, let's start. First off, to get this thing off the list, is the scientific method. Now, the scientific method, I probably told this in the very first video of the series, but it works out like this. You start off with one, a question. Two, you do some research, like... Clickety, 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 oh. Nice, people, nice. And that happens. And then, he, and then, three, you say your hypothesis, four... You design an experiment to test the hypothesis. It must be fair, so there must be at least three variables. The one is the constant. Your control is the base value of everything. The, sec the other two values are just comparisons, some extremes versions of the base constant temperature. And now, and now your next step is to go ahead, do the experiment. And your next step after that, your sixth step, I believe, is... To record the results and from here there are two paths you can go through you can if you got the results that you wanted just go on to another step but if you didn't get the results that you wanted then go back to question number three to step number three and repeat until you get it right and so here we are now that that works you go ahead get the thing you want and then you test it again and now you get the thing you want you, you got your the right result and with that you can go ahead and well write down your results publish them with scientific papers and your research of course lots and lots of research and citations are really useful especially if you use those citations and that's it that's perfectly it That's basically the scientific or Socratic method. And next up, I'm going to have to give you some interesting facts about exams. Now, before that, let's talk about some famous names. Of course, some of those big famous names are everywhere. Albert Einstein, Sir Isaac Newton, Galileo, 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 Galileo. And we even have little J.J. Thompson or Rutherford or even Schrodinger himself. Also, he just hey like physics, quantum mechanics is stupid. I'd rather be a botanist, and he became a botanist. Well, nice. And of course, with that, we find out how that we can create heat stuff, so we can put our arms through it. We even find out how to make casts. We found out how to make these glasses work, and without them, I can't see at all. We found out how to make TV screens. It's because of these guys that we can do it. Trising Newton discovered gravity and the three fundamental laws of motion. The three fundamental laws of motion. Galileo proved Copernicus' theory that the Earth is revolving around the Sun, not the other way around. And and then uh, we have and then Schrodinger is the one who told us about the possibility of superposition, a cat being both dead and alive. Ooh, dead and alive, dead and alive, dead and alive, and. J.J. Thompson, or Rutherford, was the guy who literally found out that the plum pudding model of the atom was incorrect. That he was all anti scientist but he never gave credit to that guy. We give him credit, so nice. Mary Curie was basically the person who discovered radioactive stuff, like uranium, radium, and radium, and radium, and polonium. And, yeah, that's about it. 
Now onto revision techniques. Now revision is something really hard, easy, and it's not just read something and think you know it. Just that that's fooling yourself into thinking you know this stuff. In fact, one of the best ways to know that you know something is to teach it yourself. To teach it. And if you teach it well, and you teach it well enough for the other person to understand, then you, without anyone else interfering, then you will be able to have learned it well. This is basically the Feynman method, to be honest. And Feynman uses this method a lot to learn his stuff. And you also have to learn the symbols and use the same symbols. Don't do what Feynman did. He created his own symbols for cosine, sine, and tangent. And when he tried to tutor a student, the student's like, what are those? Yeah. And then he had to switch them around because he had to relearn the whole thing because he replaced everything with his own signs, which was not good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just teach it to other people. Do some questions yourself. Do not trick yourself by looking at the answers. Mm -mm -mm. And learn by teaching. And before an exam day, now before an exam day, you should have to have some several things. Not one, but two pens, just in case one of them dries out. At least one sharpened pencil when you're drawing something. A rubber and a ruler when you're drawing those diagrams. And best, you should use the pencil when you're drawing those diagrams. Don't use ink because it's permanent. Colored pencils are not necessary, but they could make your drawings look good and more clear. A watch for pacing yourself through the examination. Also, I'm not sure if smart watch. And no, well, smart watches will not be allowed. You're going to need a regular watch. A calculator with extra bat with good batteries. And extra batteries, just in case those batteries run out. And extra batteries, too, just in case those extra batteries run out. Huh. And for some examinations, you will need some special instruments like compasses or protractors or... Graphing calculators. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's it. Now, you can also use the formulas that you can learn in this book, Physics for You. And when you're having multiple choice answers and you have no idea what answer you're sure it is, well, then you have to go ahead and pick out the ones that you know are definitely wrong. Like, let's just say that you, you're asked the question, what is the capital of it? of Ecuadania, and you're like, what the, I didn't know Ecuadania existed, I never look at the atlas, no! And lots of people just skip those questions just because they don't know it at the top of their head. In fact, just look at it yourself, look at the answer choices, and here are the answer choices. Washington, D.C., Ecuador de Patagonia, uh, Quebec, Paris, and then you remember, oh, it's Ecuador de Patagonia. It, uh, by the way, Ecuador de Patagonia does not exist, it's a fake country I just made up. To fake country made up and all you have to do is just eliminate wrong answers and if all answers except one are eliminated then that one is most likely the correct answer and that's pretty much it and so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode 100 john hope to see you guys soon until next time shout out peace 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 Boo.